Where the hell's your camera at? Oh, your camera's. Oh, <laughs> hang on. I got to fix this. Oh, this ain't, this isn't going to work on here. I need a different. Hello, everyone. Hold tight. I got to get John on. Turn your, um, turn your, um, hello, everybody. Hang on. We're working on this. Hello, hang on. Turn your volume down. Here, want me to do it? Okay, <laughs> we got it. Hello, everyone. How is everyone today? I hope you all had a wonderful, we hope you all had a wonderful um, Easter. <laughs> we were so busy. Oh, my goodness. Do you got your drink? Hey, you know what? I've been taking this medication and it uh, said you can't have caffeine with it. Well, I don't drink caffeine, but I drink decaf like one cup a day. Well, I figured because there's still trace amounts of caffeine in one cup a day that I couldn't have it. And here to find, I went a whole month and I could have had my one cup a day. Isn't that something? But I'm drinking Michigan's favorite today. Here we go. Burners. It's a cure-all for everything. Hello, everyone. Who is all in here? My goodness, we got lots of them. Um, Joel's here. Julie, aw, and see, I made her a moderator automatically. Thank you, Jewel. Um, Glenda, hello, Glenda. Uh, Bonnie, hello, Bonnie. Oh, my God, thank you for the wrench. Yeah, you got a wrench, sister. <laughs> thank you for your help. This weather is crazy, and we've been out in our greenhouse. We started in the greenhouse, friends, and... um. I transplanted some of my beautiful peppers that are going. We went and got our heat for it, so everything's doing good in there. And we are going to get you out there um, because I'm going to bring a lot of you along with me to plant because you don't need anything special. You know, you can do it on a budget. So that's what we're going to do. It is my pleasure. Jewel, thank you so much. Donna and Joyce and Jan, hello, everyone. Mr. White, I don't know if you can hear him. I'm over here. He's coming. Your camera's right I'm there. I'm staring at the other thing. <laughs> See, we'll turn you around. That's where he is. He's sitting right over there. I'm being punished. No, he's not. He's so <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, my hair grew out enough that I can put it back. I'm trying to grow it out just a little bit. Mr. Wayne thinks it was too short. And he's such a honey. <laughs> so I'm going to grow it out a little bit. Well, hello from northern Wisconsin. Hello, Jan. And I seen Stephen. I seen you in there. Hello, Stephen. It's getting busy. Your market stand is going to get busy pretty soon. And how I would love to come over there and check out that and shop at your market stand. Hello, Dennis and Sheila. Um, good evening, beautiful. You're looking extra good and rested. Uh, yeah, I'm rested. You know what, friends? I went to bed last night at 8 o'clock. I didn't get up till 7 o'clock this morning. I, I think I probably fell asleep about 9, 
but I slept all through the night and never woke up till seven. And I probably wouldn't have woke up because, but the cat sat on my head. Oh, Stephen, I, yeah, I'd love to. Lynn Wyman, I'd love to come over to your market, Stephen. But I can't get, John won't go on that boat. We'd have to drive all the way around. I don't mind the boat because I know how to swim. I won't get in a plane because I don't know how to fly. Hello from Prescott, Arizona. Hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. Hello, you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, he won't. They, when we were driving semi, they, they told us at one point in time, hey, just take the semi on the ferry across to Wisconsin because it was shorter that way for our destination. John says, oh, no, we won't be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> John don't mind boats if I can swim to shore. He, he'll go out in a boat as long as he can see shore. So uh, that leaves the ferry out because he's not going to see shore. Hello, Oklahoma. My gosh, lucky you. I wish I could sleep like that. I don't usually. I don't usually sleep like that, but I'm telling you, every now and then it's like somebody hits me in the head with a brick and I'm out. Hello to all from Pennsylvania. We need a boat. We need a boat very soon. Oh, yes, you guys are getting floods. We have two winter markets, a winter markets left. Then I take a break and we start at the big markets the second week of May. I didn't know that. That is awesome. Our market stand was open all winter in a building and it did it did really good for the winter. People liked it. But you know what was the biggest seller was Christmas cookies and Easter cookies and all the decorated cookies that I do. By the way, I do have a video on all, all those decorated cookies. That I got that recipe from John Cannell off Preppy Kitchen. I love that guy. He th that is the best um sugar cookie recipe I've ever had in my life. It, it's wonderful. You wouldn't even have to chill it and it still won't spread. Butterfly Meadows Homestead. Hello there. Cameron Sanchez, I also, if she's on here, it's because you're one hell of a baker. Oh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> Steven, thank you. Um, let's see. Come get in front of the camera, Mr. Wayne, and we want to see your lovely face. Okay. Come on. We can read from here. We can. Right here. Sit your, get your chair over here. He's coming. We'll scoot over. Hello. <laughs> there he is. Crazy here. Wait till you see the video. He says, oh, my hair looks like a rooster. <laughs> I got chicken hair. There you go. He's here. I can't see all that. He's, that's all right. I can see it. Um, that, oh, and so here with that. That should have, that should have said, Miss, oh, that's Okay. People, it's way now. It's W-A-Y-N-A. -A. Nobody ever forgets his name because you think of John Wayne. Well, his is John Wayne up. Just remember that. Hello from Chile, Indiana. Well, hello, Chile. It's kind of chilly up here, too. It's not going to warm up till this weekend. Yeah, 60 yeah. degrees this weekend. No cool hairdo today. Yeah, that's nah, standing up a oh, little bit. I'm going over. <laughs> there you go. Ball headed. <laughs> He's a honey. Preppy Kitchen is uh, Lena Hart. Yeah, I love that. I love his channel. He is just so wonderful. And his two little boys are just darling as can be. Remember those two little boys? One little boy eats everything. It was hailing just a minute ago here in Kentucky. Ooh, well, thank you. I'm falling asleep because it's after 11 p.m. here in Ireland. Oh, well, good night, Dolores. If you fall asleep before we're done, Niagara Falls, Canada. All We've right. been there. Oh, 50 mile hour winds in Iowa. Oh, hello, Starry Stylist. 
Hi, Renee and John. It's great to see you guys on live. Unfortunately, I have a customer on the way, so I can't stay long. I hope everything with you is okay, sweetheart. I've seen where you, I did, just didn't make comments on your channel, but sweetie, we've been keeping you in our prayers and your surgery and everything. Hi there. Just curious. I sent you the poke, oh, poncho a while back. Were you ever able to wear it? Yes. I, yes. That Remember that crocheted yeah. poncho? Yeah, I say here in the wintertime when it was cold, I put it on. I love the thing. And then my granddaughters fell in love with it, too. So, oh, yeah, it gets used. Okay. Susan Hayes, message retracted. I don't know why that happened, but hello, jo oh, Jules. Oh, I love your videos. Thank you so much. From Sue in Maryland. I hope it, hello, Sue, and I hope everybody had a good Easter, too. We did, too, didn't we? Yes. We ate like kings at church in the morning and then harvested my first crop today. I won't forget where I left off. Harvested my first crop today. It was raining and snowing and we picked our daffodils for the market. Aw. Uh, thank you so much. I am doing better. One more scent to remove. One more st oh, stent to remove. Aw. Okay. Good going, girl. I'm glad you're okay. Now. Where was I? Uh-oh. You know, I forgot to say you said it. <laughs> oh, we ate like kings at church. And then we came home and I made ham. And, oh, you're going to see the video tomorrow on all the desserts. I did like six different desserts. Quick, easy, lazy man, no big desserts. And they were wonderful. There's nothing left of them. My kid, I tell you, you all know my family eats like government mules. But we did, uh, we come home and we had ham and potatoes and veggies. I think we had corn and, oh, we had fun. We, we just ate. 70 down here in Louisiana. Wish you were here. Love your show. Oh, I mean, we'd love to be in 70 degree weather, wouldn't we? Oh, that'd be beautiful. Oh, that'd be lovely. I keep telling John, you know what? Because we work from home, we do our YouTube and our cookbooks. And the only thing that would be stopping us is the market stand and the chickens. But we would love to travel down south for like two months, three months in the wintertime just to get out of this bitter cold. But this year we were spoiled because it wasn't bad this year. But would that we'd have so much fun. Hello. Where did I lost that one? Hello from Islands of... Trinidad. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, that way. Louisville, Kentucky. Hello, Dot. Well, well, I'll be. I was just watching your mushroom canning video. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's going to be time for morels this year, too, isn't it? We oh, always yeah. find a boatload of morels. Neither one of us eat them. We give them away. Yes, I could sell them in the market stand, but you know what? They're a treat. I just give them away. We, I took a, 20 pounds of them one year down to my friend Orvi. I found a mother load. I do every year. Your hair looks pretty. Thank you so much. You gotta oh, it. the chicken puzzle. Scott, oh, let's see. I lost it. Oh, hi. Is that a chicken puzzle? Yes. Let me move this way. Yeah, I put that puzzle together a couple years ago. That's is this puzzle. I got it. I got a couple of them. Um, Sue Weatherby, Frisco, Texas, between 40 and 70. My poor air conditioner and heater don't know what to do. Oh, right. <laughs> this weather's crazy. Hello from Houston, Texas. Well, hello, Houston, Texas. Um, I love morels, but don't find many. Oh, I, are you in Michigan, Carmen? I find just loads of them. Boatloads. Love your cooking videos. Well, thank you, De Debbie. Um, it, it's so nice to actually meet you on a live stream. Been feeling like you're a friend for now quite quite a few years. You're moving, so I'm. this is like remedial reading in school, isn't it? That's wonderful. Stay, uh, stay gold. That's wonderful. Oh, Chrissy Francis. I live in PA. We hardly had any snow. It's been raining here for days. Our yard is a pond.
Oh, I've heard that on the news, and I remember I remember your name on my channel. I think she's you comment on the video. You're just a sweetheart. My name is Judy. I live in Houston, and I see your videos all the time. Hello. Hello, Judy. Sending you all the love from 82 Degrees Phoenix, Arizona. Remember Phoenix, Arizona? Oh, yeah. That's a hot place there. Oh, man. We go there. We just about die. Ramps are starting. Yeah. we get You get lots of them, too, Stephen. We get lots of them. And you know what I do with them? I freeze dry them. Well, I was dehydrating. Now I freeze dry them, and I turn them into a powder, and I use them for a spice all winter long. It's amazing. You should do that and sell it in your market, Santa. It'd probably sell pretty good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She says, yes, I never miss a video. Chrissy, you're such a sweetheart. I live in, where did it go? I live in West Virginia, and we had some tornadoes yesterday. It's supposed to get snow tomorrow. Our weather's been crazy. I've learned so much from you about canning. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm going to read that one because that's making me nuts. Uh oh. I can't even see it. I'm right here. We, okay. Well, you better start talking. Tell them to start talking. Hello from Central Illinois. I have trouble reading this small print. I'll tell you why. Not that I'm whining about any medical problems, but. Some of you may have heard about this before. The older we get, the is it the gel in the back of your eye? Yeah. Starts to harden or, or gel up or something. And that little membrane separates from the back of your eye. Well, I don't know what it's called. But I know that we type in caps. Oh, I know that when I, I was seeing like a... Um, a black spot in my line of vision. And I thought, what the heck is that? Well, I don't mess around with that. I went right to the eye doctor, you know. And she said that membrane in the back of my eye that is um, detaching is pulling at my retina. Yes, caps will work very good because John will be able to see them. Ah! Any tips on freezing single-serving meals? You know what? I will do a video on it because... Cooking for a friend. I would do them in TV dinners. And I'll do a video and I'll show you how easy it is. But anyway, so right now I have a little black spot in the center of my vision. So it's hard to read this little stuff right now. And um, she said it, it, it could go away in a few months. Or it could pull my retina a little bit, start detaching, which they, what did they say they would do? They would shoot a little air bubble in there. A gas it. bubble and fix you. Yeah, and it'll attach back. It'll attach itself back again. Hi, it's Aaron Gomez. I'm from Glendale, California. I enjoy watching your videos on YouTube. I just enjoyed watching you. Aw, awesome. Thank you. Let's see. Hello from Chattanooga. We are live now. If so, hello, friends. Yes, we're live. We are live, friends. Do you plan on doing any dehydrated videos? I use my dehydrator all the time and grind the product into powders, and they sell extremely. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And uh, <coughs> those ramps would do the same thing. You could, you could, uh, you got a dehydrator, not a freeze dryer. Still, you could dehydrate them. And grind them right into powders. They, they, they fly off your shelves. Yes. I, um, I could do dehydrating videos. I do a lot of a lot of freeze-dried videos. But I can do some dehydrating ones too. Your hair looks so pretty. Thank you. I colored it. And it got a little bit wild, didn't it? We were, <laughs> we were laughing. We were laughing. And the store we were by, I said, man, I got to get rid of this gray. I just don't want to be gray right now, right? I can't seem to get my mushrooms as white as yours when canning. Can you show what you use for that? Mine are, oh, mushrooms as white as mine when canning. I can, I can. I thought you freeze dry them. Yeah. I freeze dried mushrooms. Um, I've canned mushrooms too. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyway, I forgot what I was just what I was gonna say. I had that problem with one of my eyes. It did go away after a while. Yeah. Excuse me. She said it would. 
and she said it would. And uh, but it's it's irritating when you're trying to read something and you can see it, but it's like you can't make it out. It's too blurry. You are my favorite YouTube channel. I have learned so much from you, and I and I think she says I'm a Michigander too. That's awesome. Anyway, we were in the store, and uh, I said I got to buy some color for my hair. Look at this, friends. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was bad. Look at. There's Jewel. See her. <laughs> okay, I don't mean to make you seasick. Sorry. Okay, so we'll get this out. We were in the store, and I was looking for a good, a good color. And it looked like just a reddish brown, just a little bit of red. I didn't want Auburn or nothing wild. If you mean to tone the red, add more and natural to your, your gray picked up on the red. That's why. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's red. That's all right. It'll fade, won't it? <laughs> I'll come see you. You'll fix it. That's okay. It's just like if somebody cuts your hair wrong, it's okay. It grows back. This is okay. This will fade. Nice to meet you, and I will be back later on again. Thanks for all you do. Stay gold. You have a wonderful night, and we hope you come back again. And Stephen, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Hello from New Brunswick, Canada. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to keep up, and they're going fast. I think your hair looks great. Well, thank you. Ouch, I hit my head when we fell. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> you better not get on the table. You'd be naughty, kid. Okay. It makes you look younger. Oh, thank you. Does my skin look different from not smoking? Oh, Mr. did I tell you Mr. Wayne hasn't smoked in what? 10 days? Mm -hmm. 10 days? He's doing good. Customers here, I'll be back if you're still here. Bye-bye, Star. I love you. I like it makes you look younger. Oh, thank you. Um, you take care. I need to run dinner time. Okay, Stephen, have a good night. Congratulations, John. Yes, we're proud of him. Hi, Nay. It's Kelly. So excited to be here. I'm reading so fast. I'm dry. You're saying a lot. I'm a woman. I can talk quick. Mm -hmm. ha, we're Michiganders. Michiganders, we can talk fast. Up in the UP, they talk faster than we do. Um, wanted to let you know, Mom, and I got the Egyptian walking onions planted that you sent me. Oh, I'm so glad, Kelly. You're going to love them things. I've been dry, or dying to see Jewel. I always hear her. Did you get to see her? She was. <laughs> she's a honey. Congrats to you both. I quit smoking 12 years ago. Yep, we gave it up. He was a little bit salty, but he got through it. <laughs> of course, that's just normal. And why is it? Mr. Wayne, well, he slowed way down. Mind you, people, we were two pack-a-day smokers a year mm -hmm. ago at this time. Here's Jewel. There she is. She's a mm -hmm. honey bunny. Anyway, I quit in November. John slowed way down to about a half a pack a day in December, was it, January? And uh, I forgot what I was saying. Talking about quitting smoking. Oh, he lost 20 pounds and quit 30. smoking. 30. Since December and quit smoking. He's not sick. No, no. And I, I found it. I, I think I found every bit of it. So anyway. <laughs> So, uh, well, we've got to do some um, um, healthy eating, uh, healthy meals we'll do, you know. Jewel said hi, Jules. <laughs> hi, Jewel. She's a cutie pie. Um, hey, just saw you live. Hi from Grand Rapids. Hello, Jean. I stopped smoking four months ago. Congratulations, Judy. You can do it, too. My husband wouldn't quit. Well, sometimes. Quit smoking in two. I quit in 2099. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be 75 this year. I decided to stop dyeing my hair. I was so surprised. It's a beautiful silver color. Everyone just loves it. I bet it is. My grandmother had the had snow white hair. I gained 10 and still smoke. <laughs> yeah. I just look at a plate of food and gain weight. Um, husbands are stubborn. <laughs> and she's laughing. Husbands are stubborn. I have an impossible ham and Swiss pie in the oven using up leftover ham. Oh, she went away. I want to try chicken cordon bleu next. Ooh, that sounds good. Hi, Australia. That, um, Cindy Woods, that is a puzzle. We'll turn you just a little bit. Okay. Let me turn this light off. Okay. Let me go this way. That is a puzzle right behind us, right there. That is a puzzle. I think it's almost better without the light on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it better for you guys if we leave the light off? I look like the you door. and I could be twins. My neighbor are starting to run when they see me coming because they know they're getting some homemade meals. Aw. Hello from Genesee County. Hello. That one tried gum, patches, and hypnosis, and nothing worked. Well, you know what worked for me? I had the hell scared out of me. Remember? I had the oh. heck scared out of me, too. My wife informed me every day how I, much I smoked. <laughs> no, I didn't pick on you. I didn't pick on you. We got a fan for the window, too. Oh, yeah, that's because I couldn't stand it anymore. Anyway, it's not... Hard to quit smoking. I've quit smoking seven or eight times. It no, it's not hard to quit. It's hard to keep keep quitting. You know, yeah. Yes, looks better without light. Thank you. Uh, that's funny. Love your channel. Love freezer meals. Freezer meals are so fun. I need to take you out and show you my freezers because they're so brand packed. I probably couldn't get anything more in there. Hello from Oklahoma. Hello Oklahoma. My husband had a collapsed lung. And he still wouldn't quit smoking, for heck's sakes. Oh, for goodness sakes. What? I met a gentleman. It's just our name. Oh. I met a gentleman about 15 years ago that only had one lung that wouldn't quit smoking. Are you a puzzler in your spare time? I love puzzles. I'll tell you why sometime. Because that's, that, that's a long story. Hello, I'm from Watertown, New York. Remember, Bevy lived there for a while. Yeah. At the Bay, uh, Marine Base? Yep. Yeah. yeah, our son-in-law was in the Marines. I made pea soup today with my leftover ham from Easter. Turned out delicious. Ooh, I bet it did. Your videos are the first I watch every day. I like saying hi from my mom. Aw. Okay. Me too, next. Chat, maybe Renee. What's that? Are you a puzzler in your spare time? Oh, I don't know what Jewel was saying. Um, is the Lentz restaurant still open in Cal? Oh, yeah. And uh, Bonnie, not Bonnie, um, May. And Bonnie was a sister, wasn't it? Not May, but her sister is not doing very well. Um, it's not Bonnie. I forget the, the sister's name. But she's, yes, they're still open, but she's not. It closed about one o'clock. Right. Jewel, tell us about the puzzles. I was in a car accident in 2000. In, 2000. in March of 2000. I'm two years smoke free. Uh, beautiful. I'll, I'll lose the weight too. Anyway, I was in a bad car accident in, in 2000. I got a closed head injury. Um, I had to learn how to walk, talk, feed myself. I had to learn how to do everything all over again. I went through extensive therapy. And the, um, the neuropsychologist that I went to see, he told me to do puzzles, 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 puzzles. He said, puzzles will reconnect the nerves in your brain that 
were um because i tore all the lining in the left side of my brain and i had damaged eye and a damaged ear my fine motor skills were damaged my audio memory was damaged which is still kind of impaired but um i went through eight years of therapy well most of the time i did puzzles and i still to this day do puzzles and that's why i'm a puzzler i love puzzles too um, but you wouldn't know I had a closed head injury if I didn't tell you. I, I, it, that's 24 years ago and my ears ring. My ears ring is as intense as the day it, the accident happened. You didn't, you don't have to discuss it now, Renee. Maybe you could talk about the puzzles in the next chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I won't discuss it no more. Um, you are amazing. Thank you, Jules. Thank you for sharing that with us, Renee. Aw, you're welcome. Yes, you are awesome to overcome. Yes, I did. And I did six years of college after that. They said that I would never um, make it past the fifth grade learning level. And I made it past six years of college. And I won a national award in critical thinking. I scored seven, let's see, seven years after, or six years after, no, seven years after my car accident, I was in college. I, I took a test and literally I scored 75% higher than their national average in critical thinking. But I think it was all the math that I had to do. Anyway, my daughter and I watch you every day. You're great. You guys are awesome. I am just, we, we are just so lucky to have you guys thankful. on here with us. And thankful, yes. God has blessed us. Um, that's a great story. God bless. Thank you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> What's my favorite meal? What's my favorite meal? Chicken. <laughs> yeah. I love fried chicken. Fried chicken. I love it. And cabbage. I love fried cabbage, too. How long did you drive semi? Oh, about 15 years. At least. I was 18. Yeah, I was 15. He was 18. You're an amazing survivor. Yes, I survived by the grace of God. You inspired me to try and can some pickles and pepper peppers last season. Water bath for the first time, and I became hooked. Thank you. I've got pickles. Pickle seedlings under grow lights now. Aw, awesome. That's determination. We are lucky to have you and your beautiful family. Oh, thank you. Well, my beautiful family is lucky to have. We're all a big family. <laughs> we're all a big community. We're going to take you out in the greenhouse, too. Um, usually, I'm a couple weeks ahead of my videos, but I slowed down with them because... When I do the, the greenhouse videos, I don't want to be too far ahead because it's they're time sensitive. You need to certain things you need to get started inside, you know, depending on where you're at. And I want to take you out in the greenhouse with me. And for those of you who never started seeding indoors or are brand new to gardening, I'm going to show you all that. Yes, we are, Jewel, a great community. Your channel so much. You and coffee get me going in the morning. Aw. My husband needs a good pickle recipe like refrigerator. I got a really good Amish recipe for um, their dill, their dill sweet pickles. It, it, they're not sickening sweet and they're not real dill. They're kind of like in between. They're awesome. I'll, I'll, um, did I do a video on that? I don't remember. This year I'll do a video on it. Those pickles are really good. You were driving a semi age 15. No, I drove semi for 15 years. And John drove semi for 18 years. My husband needs to, needs, oh, I already read that. Michigan is wonderful. Yes, it is. I like Michigan. We got, we have brutal winters usually, but it's been getting pretty mild lately. We usually get a brutal winter, but our summers are just phenomenal. 70 degrees, 75. It's usually just, it's beautiful. Um, no, he wants dill. I got a good dill recipe too. Hello from Iowa. I didn't realize you were live. Oh, well, we're here. I love your videos. They are very educational. Thank you. Love your channel. Your hair is gorgeous. Makes you look so much younger. Please say... Hi to your hubby, Mr. Wayna. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, you can't see him very well. He's hiding over there. We got to get him in here. There we go. You can see him better now. I live in Green Bay, slushy snow. Oh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. I have squash, bell peppers, potatoes, and peanuts planted here. Peanuts, you must be in the south. We wouldn't grow peanuts. Mm -hmm. uh, they would they take longer to grow. Um I love it here, but we need some sunshine. Hey, <laughs> have you started planting your I lost them. Your seeds yet? Yes, I've got a bunch of tomato seeds and a bunch of herb seeds planted. And probably tomorrow I'm going to head back out to the greenhouse and that's when I'll take you with me. Well, I'll do a video so you can see that. And I'm going to put them up rather quickly so that um, they're not going to be out two weeks. Your pickle recipe sounds like something I would try. I don't care for dill pickles themselves. This sweet pi or um, it's called sweet dill pickle recipe from the Amish. It is good. Uh, oh, Louisiana. Okay, that's where you can grow peanuts at. Mr. Wayna is quiet, but his smile lights the room. Aw. How you like that, Mister? Uh huh. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I tell him all the time. I tell him you're wonderful. You're just a doll and you're beautiful. And I tell him all those things. And he says, what is your, what do you always say? Just a man. Just a man. <laughs> I said, no, you're a good man. I am from Watertown. My two pretty. I am from Watertown. Oh, Watertown, New York too. Pretty neat. Yeah. Bevy lived up there for a little while. Um, love your yeast bread. Oh, I got to bake more bread. <laughs> I thought about doing a video on it because I got to make a bunch of bread for, in fact, I should because I'm going to do a marbled rye bread. Did I already do that? Didn't we do that on the, did we do, we baked bread last week in the live chat. Question, this year weather has been warm. When are you guys going to start the garden? We still can't start our garden until the end of May. Our last frost date is, is the first week of June, like June 5th, mm -hmm. June 6th. So, But we're usually pretty safe to plant our garden on Memorial Weekend. But we do grow. We start everything in the greenhouse. And by the time that comes, the, the Memorial Weekend comes, the greenhouse is busting at the seams. So. Pumpernickel, please. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to do pumpernickel bread. Hi, Renee and John. My husband and I are from the... I know that word. I know how to... I know that. I can't We've been there. there. And love your show. We're, we'll butcher that name, but we've been through there with the semi. Us Michiganders and our, our Fago and our Verners. Yes, I did the marble rye. Okay, that, that turned out really good. Wisconsin here, us too. Hello from Indiana. Hey, guys, sending uh, love both of you from, aw, thank you. Thank you. Just love it when you get your new favorite coffee drink at Starbucks, and my body isn't used to strong coffee, Renee. Remind me not to do that again because I'm bouncing off the walls 100 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Huh. Aw. Sourdough rye is your favorite. I don't do a lot of sourdough bread. I just let my bread, if I want it sourdough, I just put my bread together and I just leave it set and ferment. And it, it's the same, almost the same thing. And it's it's wonderful that way too. My daughter used to live in Kalamazoo. Ooh, oh, I've done pasties. Pasties are amazing. He don't like pasties. John doesn't care for pasties. Because John doesn't like gravy, and the pasties can be kind of dry without gravy. Yes, it is in a previous video. Yep. I'm trying sourdough here. It's been a struggle. Any tips? It shouldn't be a struggle. Um, just make sure you feed it a little bit every day. And uh, do your discard. You should visit here in... Wiki Wachi, Florida, home of the mermaids. Wiki Wachi, Florida. Where's that at in Florida? I've never heard that. Mm -hmm. We've been he had a cousin that lived in Alachua. 
Um, Jill Carlson, my favorite couple on YouTube. What a wonderful end of my aw. How is your daughter, Susie? It, uh, it's so fun to watch you. To oh, she's a sweetheart. She's doing good. I can't make cinnamon raisin bread to save my life, but my sunflower bread is the bomb. I bet it is. I use your recipe for the white bread, then add the sun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. You can use that Amish white bread as a basic. Just cut back a little more on the sugar, too. Oh, you can't wait to start the garden. Well, I can't wait to show you the greenhouse. We're going to have fun this year, too. Any good pasty recipes? Oh, yeah. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> Home of the pasty. No, pasties are really Cornwall, but uh, the UP, they the pasties gained popularity there because of the workers. And they, they, it's, it was a healthy sandwich, I guess. And the bridge, too. Yeah. They would eat a one, one hand sandwich. Hi, Renee and Mr. Wayna. Uh, is north of Clearwater, so you are familiar with that? Yes, we're north. Yes, we know Clearwater. As long as there's no snakes. I don't do well with snakes. <laughs> My new type is cucumber bread. Oh, I bet that's good. We had at church the one day, we had um, jalapeno bread. That was good. Hello, I love you guys. I've been making your rice recipes. Oh, yeah, those are good, aren't they? I, I made some of that the other night for a side. Thanks for sharing your recipes and your life. Well, absolutely. We have a ball. I do not like snakes. Nope, nope, neither do I, Cynthia. We don't, there's not enough room in this world for me and snakes. <laughs> People say they're beautiful and, oh, no. Nope. No, nope. I hate snakes. Pierogies. Yeah. Pierogies, those are good, too. Where are those at? Where'd you see that? They asked what I like for my favorite food. Oh, what's his favorite Polish dish? Pierogies. Are pierogies Polish? They are in my stomach. <laughs> yeah, he likes them. The. Do I make a hamburger pie. meat pie? Well, you could. I I never have. I always use a little bit of uh, round steak. But you can make it with hamburger. My husband ran across a snake in the garden yesterday. I don't know who was more scared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have scared me too. Hi, Renee and John from St. John's. There's a St. John's in Michigan. Is that the St. John's in Michigan, Deb? Do you have pine snakes? They they suck. Here, new. No. No, I don't. Never heard of pine snakes. We don't have any poisonous snakes whatsoever. Well, we do. We've got a Michigan rattlesnake, but you're lucky if you ever see them. They're in my stomach. I guess I lost that one. <laughs> I would love recipes like the Nor pasta packages. Do you have any? Those are so easy to put together. We'll do some of those. Garter snake, gar gardener snake problem. Oh. Well, they're good in your garden, but I'm scared to death of them. But they are good in your garden. Yes, pierogies is Polish. I'm 100% Polish. So is Mr. Wayna. Before they shortened their name, your great-grandfather did? Yeah, when they came over on the boat. What was it? What did it used to be called? Wayna Lowski. <laughs> what a name, huh? Wayna Lowski. Pine snakes are white and west western up. North Wisconsin. Oh, I don't, I don't, I've never seen, I've never seen one if we do have them. Hi, Wanda. You're from Aroma, Aroma Park, Illinois. Wanda, Wanda Garcia. Wanda, that was Wanda's name. Wanda, my friend Wanda's name before she married Joel was Wanda Garcia. But that's not Wanda. I don't think that's, that's a different Wanda. Wanda, where are you from? Um, Glenda Roberts, you can have your coral, coral snake, cotton moths, rattlesnake. No, we don't have them. Ha! We don't have none of them. Oh, by the way, happy Dengus Day. Whatever that. I can't read it all. I keep trying to read it. It's too small. Okay. 
was a black snake but got larger and the story was told. <laughs> My husband says lots of potlicks well my grandma used to say pot liquor i don't know what it, i don't know what pot pot stickers maybe i read it wrong no pot licks mm. we lived in, in ypsilanti when i was a child loved michigan yep and you know you're from michigan when you can pronounce or when you can read ypsilanti Sus, it's not ips it's yips Sault Ste. Marie and Charlevoix. Hello, Renee and John from Toronto, Canada. Hello. Are you familiar with uh, bacon, onion, cabbage, and noodles? Yes. Yes, I've had that before. But I've never had the, um, I didn't have the, the bacon in it. But yeah, you. I don't think I had the bacon in it. But I love that stuff. I would love a nor rice pilaf recipe. My adult kids love it, and it is so no longer available. The other brands are not the same. Okay, we'll do it. <coughs> no, my husband says potlick older folks. <laughs> Ontario, or Oregon, hello. Hello, Linda. Anyway, my gosh, we've been saying hi and hi and hi. It's all right. We're getting we got to tell them what's going on. We bought a new toy. Well, we didn't buy a new toy. Oh, and if our friend from Scottville, or not Scottville, Free Soil, Shannon, if you're live with us, hello, sweetheart, our friend from Free Soil. It was so nice to meet you at the bank that day. And if you're watching this in replay, just let me know. Um, did we tell him we got a new toy? I don't think so. <laughs> All the old folks in town have them. So we figured we better join the crowd. Um, we bought, well, they all have golf carts around here. They're, it's like everybody, young, old, doesn't matter. Everybody always has a golf cart or an ATV. Well, we bought a UTV, a Cub Cadet um, utility little utility cart we love that thing we did a little horse trading oh yeah we don't we barter we don't my mother's car we never hardly drove it um it was an outback a subaru outback and it was valued at about 7500 and i said to john i said we really should sell it so somebody can have a chance to use it because you know we're not, we just don't use it and our neighbor was driving around that Cub Cadet, and he told John, he says, you ought to check this out. This thing is cool. You'd love it. It'd be perfect on your little homestead. So John brings it over to the house. We go for a ride on it. And I'm standing, and I'm thinking, he wants 7000 for it, okay? And the car's 75 And I said to him, we like it. I said, would you want to trade, or do you got to have cash? You know? He said, well, what you got? I said, well, we got a, we got a 2012, I think it was 2012. 11. Or, oh, 11. 2011 uh, uh, Subaru Outback. And uh, it's got low miles on it. He says, I'll take it. We trade. So we trade it even up. We go up to Norway, Iron Mountain. Air. Yep, we've been up there. John had it right, 100%. Uh, hey, guys, I love your channel. Watching from Illinois. What did you buy? We didn't buy. We we got a Cub Cadet, a utility, a little utility vehicle. It's got a dump bed, hydraulic dump bed. It's got all the whole, it's loaded. We traded a vehicle for it, <laughs> an extra vehicle. So that was nice. That was, we made a nice trade. We're going to use that more than we'd ever use that car. The car just sat in our driveway and, and nobody used it. We just got a golf cart. They're so fun. Um, it just shows what a blessing you are to all of us. Ben, a joy to be with you. Love you both. I lost her. That's what I was going to say. Hello from Utah. We just got a golf cart. You'll love it. Ha ha ha. My dad used to say horse trading. Yeah. <laughs> that smile. Um, hi guys. I, I have just started watching your show and I love it. 
Thank you. Um, if you can barter these days, yippee. Oh, gosh, ouch. We barter all the time. I barter food. Horse trading. Horse trading, yeah. We, uh, I got a buddy of mine that he always calls me, and we, we trade our home canned goods because I trust his, and he trusts mine, and, you know, we're good with that. We might not have a lot of money, but we're food rich. Are we? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a new kitty. Yeah, she's a honey. We have a four-wheeler here. They're so fun. And in our village where we're at, mind you, this village has about, I think our population is 500. 561, I think. 561. There's not, it's not a big village. 561 people. And I think there's more golf carts than cars. So, you know, we have fun. Many people here have golf carts and use them to take people who have trouble walking around the park during the Mint, Mint Festival. Oh, how neat is that? Do your shingles get all better? You know what? They have. But I still have numbness on my side. And, and, and now and then I'll get a little shooting pain like uh, the, the nerves are coming back to life. Somebody's asking how far from Petoskey. How far are you from Petoskey? We're about two and a half hours south. Yeah, about two and a half hours south of Petoskey. Google Calava. It'll bring up the bottle house, but that's where we are. Google Calava and look at the map and you'll see right where we are. Um, your channel is my morning coffee companion. I just think that's awesome. Four wheelers. Yep, we like them. Um, that's a nice size for a village. Yeah, it's not too big. I'm sure the golf cart will save money and gas. Yeah, it, well, it's an ATV. It's a UTV. We'll definitely use it on this on our little um, um, homestead here. Small village. Yes, we are a small village. And let me tell you, everybody knows your business. In five minutes, uh, we were joking around one time. When we were home, we were putting up a shed. Oh, I got to put my glasses on. I just can't see nothing. We were outside. We were putting up a shed, and we were joking around. And John's always called me Martha. Martha, excuse me, Martha. And uh, he's out there in the, in the, when we're putting up the shed, and he's hollering like he's hollering at me. Martha, what's the matter with you? Don't you know nothing? And we're going back and forth, and he's teasing me. This was about 15 years ago. Well, the, one of the neighbors come over a couple of days later, and she says, I need to talk to Marfa. <laughs> I says, no, my name's Renee, but that's what he always calls me, Marfa. Go figure. I think maybe Martha Stewart. I, I don't know why. He's never told me why. Hello, I love your channel. Well, hello. Thank you, Louise. Um, I would... So love to visit. Old country girl. Yeah. Aw, you come visit anytime. Nice to see you live. You changed your hair color. Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little jump in your face, isn't it? Um, love listening to you. Each episode is a story in itself. Love from Scotland. Well, thank you. They may know your business, but you always have help when you need a hand. Yes. Abs oh, my gosh. Absolutely. And you know what? When we fire up our outdoor oven, they all come running. Some come running with a big appetite and some come running with a plate of uh, a dish to pass. And yes, we're very close to our community. Yeah. We, when our, what was it? When our um, freeze dryer, our big daddy freeze dryer came back, that thing weighs what? 375 pounds, 375 pounds. We had, oh my gosh, within 20 minutes of it getting here, there was three, two, Two people, two. two people come right over to help us, two guys, and both of them got it down the stairs, not a problem. Yes, I'm going to do more cookbooks. I was just thinking about that yesterday, that I really should start on one because they seem to take me forever to get them done. But it's just because I I, I take my time with them, and I, I like to uh, I like putting them together. But I'm thinking about doing one on all the breads doing a bread book and it wouldn't be as big as my normal cookbook and it would be a heck of a lot cheaper too but i think i might do that um is your food stand on your property my market stand yes it's in a it's in a little building a 12 by 8 building right in front of my house 
and I are coming up this summer for sure. Well, I hope so. Oh, let's see. Renee, you and your videos are the best part of my day. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I finally got on one of your lives. Um, your hairdo is so beautiful. You just look like your daughter, and your daughter looks like you. And thank you. That's so sweet. Bread dough book sounds awesome. Yes. Yeah, I thought that would be nice. I could Because I could do cinnamon roll, anything with yeast. And maybe some quick breads in it. I'm not sure. Are you ready for the eclipse this Monday? Yes, but you know what? Where we're at, I don't know where you're at, but where we're at up here in Michigan, we're going to see it. Uh, it's going to be 86%. So it's not going to be a total eclipse. We're uh, like it is down uh, Ohio, I think they'll see more. Yep. I'll get 100% of it. I don't know exactly where the path is going through that's going to be the 100% somewhere through Ohio up, up into New England. But we're only going to see 86% of it. But, yes, we will We will still – I think we still have to look at it through special sunglasses, mm -hmm. don't we? Those 3D glasses, what yeah. are they? City Girls say something. Um, Tom and I are probably going to Little River for a free night. We'll get a hold of you to see what dates work for you guys. Oh, how fun. Would you but you go up to I don't go gambling. <laughs> I'll go up there and eat. Oh, let's see. I'm in I'm I'm in New Buffalo. I'm in Buffalo, New York. Looking forward to it. I I heard 93% in Grand Rapids. Yes, it's in, see, yep, 96%. Yep, you guys are closer to it, but we're farther north. So we're, we're the farther north we go, 100% in Indiana. Oh, how I would love to travel down there to check that out. That's just going to be so awesome, but we can't. And there's going to be a lot of traffic and a lot of people moving around, and I'm just going to stay right here and, you know, be safe. Um. Our links to the description box. And, oh, I've always been so scared of making bread, but you make it look so easy. And I'm going to try it. Honey, try it. It is easy. And you're going to say to yourself, what took me so long to just try it? It's easy. And it, if it flops, if your dough doesn't rise, you're not losing anything. Roll that dough out and make some fry bread with it. It's wonderful stuff. Um, 100% for Watertown, New York. Thousands are in on their way. Our tiny town will be overwhelmed. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not one to travel like that. Here in our town, oh, I'm, they often left more perishables to the public. I just got a huge bag of each carrots, onions, and zucchini. Oh, my gosh, you could freeze every one of those. You could freeze those. And the zucchini and the onions, you don't even have to blanch them if they're not going to last longer than six months in your freezer. But the carrots, you're going to want to blanch because they, they when, when they thaw out and you cook them, they tend to turn lose their color and turn kind of mushy. But if you blanch them, they won't do that. They'll even keep their texture. Living the simple life. I love that. Hey there, your free soil friend here. Yes. <laughs> I just said hi to you, Shannon, our free soil friend. Um, I wish wish I was home to watch you, but we're deciding to try out the new Culver's. Isn't, oh, she's loving her new car. Isn't Culver's awesome? I love that. And yes, Susie is loving her new car. Thank you so much. 100% um, here in Vermont. Just made chocolate Fried pies, 24 of them to be exact. And boy, are they good. Oh, that's another favorite of mine. If you were my neighbor, I'd be sneaking over there with a cup of coffee. <laughs> Started using flash food because of you. Thanks. You'll love flash foods. They're wonderful. Love the chicken picture hanging behind you. Yeah. I go that way. All right. Yeah, I love that. I should show you the one John gave me. That one's gorgeous. The one John, Mr. Wayne, gave me. Um, I made your brownies here. Wonderful. Thank you. Those brownies that I make, that, that big batch brownie recipe, that's fantastic. Every single person that has tried that brownie recipe 
said it was just a hit. Those are good though. Any new pizza oven recipes? I got lots. We, we're just waiting about another week and we'll start firing up and we'll start doing videos out there and cooking. We're going to cook everything from bread. Oh my gosh, we already had steak. That was in a video. We had steak and potatoes. That was just like melting your mouth. That steak was so good. That steak tasted like a steak that you would get at Waldorf Astoria, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> something that you couldn't afford ever even to look at, you know. Um, love seeing all your great cooking equipment, especially that huge stainless steel bowl. I love that thing. My macaroni salad. That that bowl that I got is a 30-quart bowl, and I love it. And I bought that bowl when they were only, now they're like 70 bucks. I bought that bowl when they were $20 at my Mennonite store. So enjoy your videos. I wish we were neighbors. Would love to know how you two met. <laughs> We met in Indianapolis at an orientation for Warner. He was going to work for Warner to drive for Warner, and I was going to drive for Warner. And that's when we, we were both smokers, okay? I got a cup of coffee because I had take, I took the bus down there because, of course, I'm not leaving my car down there. So I jumped the bus, went down there. But when I got to the hotel, I was so doggone tired. I just wanted to have a cup of coffee, relax for a minute, have a cigarette, and then go to bed, right? So I went outside with my cup of coffee, and this gentleman was talking to me and asked me where I was from and all that. And I said, well, I live in a little town called Calava up in northern Michigan. And John peeked his head, or up in Michigan. And he says, well, I don't know where that is. I know my way around Michigan. I said, well, if you go by Manistee, um, Bear Lake, Beulah, Benzonia. And just at that time, John, John's head popped from around, from behind that guy. And he says, I live in Beulah. And I'm telling you, friends, I took one look at this man and all my bearings fell right out of my head. It's like, uh, uh I know you're going to be my husband. <laughs> I had hair then. <laughs> he had a little more hair, but we met in Indianapolis. And I think the feeling was mutual with the two of us. It was like, Oh, barf. It was like love at first sight. <laughs> and we, had, we were like little kids. We would go sit by the pool and hold hands and talk. And just, yeah, yeah. all Twitter painted. <laughs> barf. He always brings me flowers. and uh, But we haven't been apart since. We, we, we met down there and we have not been apart since. Anyway, he always used to bring me flowers. He'd bring me, when John brings me a bouquet of flowers, he doesn't bring me a bouquet. He brings me a bouquet. It's like four or five of them together in one. And he'll hand it to me and he'll be like, oh, barf. <laughs> that's, just a, that's just a joke we have. Oh, we are so fun. We had so much fun together. We still have fun together. Have you ever cooked bread in a toaster oven for people who don't have ovens? No, but I I bet you could. It just wouldn't be a normal size loaf because your toaster oven isn't big enough. What is the best way to keep homemade bread fresh when you live alone? Okay, I'll tell you the best way to keep your bread so that it does not mold is you put it in the freezer. I know you're going to tell me, well, it'll all stick together. No, you, you can put each piece in a, in a, like I used to do, I would put each piece in a little sandwich baggie. You know, not a Ziploc or nothing like that, just a little sandwich baggie and put it back in the loaf. And then you could take as many or as few out as you want. You could toast it. You could just leave it on the counter overnight and it would thaw out and it would not get, um, um, soggy. yeah, no, not soggy. It wouldn't get stale because it would be in that plastic. So that's a way to keep your bread for a long time. So glad to catch you live. I so love your channel. Um, such a sweet, Oh, we're just lovies. <laughs> he just, I just love him. We have an honest to God, goodness, except when my mother come down with cancer, I came in off the road to take care of my mom. And that, that was the only time that we'd been apart. And I'm telling you, it was like, what, a month after I called him up and I was just a bawling and no, crying. Before. 
before. I didn't your last two weeks. I says, I, I just can't be without you. I was just a ball and I miss you. I can't be without you. Uh. <laughs> He's funny. Uh, roaster oven, not toaster. Oh, the roaster oven. Yeah, you could make bread. Yeah, you could make bread in a roaster oven. You know what? You might want to, when you put it on a rack in that roaster oven, and, you know, 350, 350 degrees, put a little bit of water under that rack and um, so that your, your bread stays moist. Oh, it'd be wonderful. Um, did you get the stainless, the salami recipe? Yes, I did get the salami recipe. Yes, I did. And we're going to try that. My grandma knows how to make scrapple. Do you know how to make it? Scrapple. That's that Pennsylvania food where they mix sausage and all that together. Remember, we ain't had that yet. No, I've never made it, but we probably could if I had a good recipe. I knew I was going to marry my hubby the first time I met him, too. We were married for 42 glorious years. Oh, we're sorry. He passed away. The 42 years is the best 42 years of your life. I know him, Mr. and I, we goof around, but we, we, yeah, we're best friends. We, we love at first sight. Not a, no, no doubt about it. I've heard it works to put parchment paper between bread slices too. Yes. Yes. You can do that. But if you put it in a sandwich bag, you can just set it out on the counter overnight too, unless you can toast it right away. My homemade bread doesn't last long enough to get to room temperature, let alone me <laughs> the freezer. I bet it doesn't. It's good stuff. Um, have learned a lot from watching you cook from scratch and not use the ready-made things like soups and cake mixes. Well, I use them too. That Those are for lazy days. Wait till you see the video. It's coming up. What's today? The third? Yeah, it's coming up on the fifth. It's six desserts, six no-bake desserts that mm -hmm. your family's going to love. You'll love them. You'll love putting them together. My husband and I have been married for 43 years and are still best oh, friends. Okay. Absolutely. What town is it you live? Karen, we live in Calava. K-A-L-E-V-A. Calava, Michigan. If you Google it, we're famous for a bottle house. And uh, I don't have to tell you about the bottle house because if you Google Calava, Michigan, you the village of Calava, you you'll see the bottle house right there that was built in the in the forties, I believe. I knew Tom was was the one. Our first six hour phone call. Yep, you told me that, Chris. I love it. Hi from PA and Scrapple is everywhere. I do not eat. I do not enjoy it. I don't, I don't, I don't even really know what it is. Um, mine never did when my husband was alive either. Oh, she answered somebody else. Some people put maple syrup on it. Well, that must be like a breakfast dish, huh? Yeah. It's oh, a breakfast thing. Uh, it is called Calava. Yep, Calava. A lot of people would pronounce it Caliva. <laughs> That's Calava. Used to be, it's a Finnish town, and it used to be pronounced Calavella. And they just shortened it to Calava. Wendy Newman, I'm 16, or my 16 year old daughter and I love watching you. When we click on the new video, we go, hello, Renee. Aw, hello. <laughs> love your videos and recipes have helped a lot. That's awesome. Do you like to make ratatouille? You know what? Yes and no. Um, Yes, I'd love to make stuff like that, but I, I'm not, okay, I'm not that fond of eggplant unless eggplant is sliced thin and I, you know, roll it in a little bit of, of um, cornstarch and flour and then fry it so it's a little crispy. I like making it with um, eggplant parmesan, but I'm, I'm not fond of the texture of eggplant. Excuse me, my nose itches. Oh, thank you, Martine. Thank you. Looked up Scrapple. Scrapple is mostly liver and other organ meats together. I think, oh, yeah, no. I, I don't mind liver. I, I've ate organ meat. My mother ate a lot of it when we were little. 
my mother used to eat scrambled eggs and brains and I would just about gag. I couldn't take it. Uh, what exactly is scrapple made of? Scrapple is typically made of hog off offal, such as the neck, heart, liver, and other trimmings, which are boiled with any bones attached. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. I don't think I'd care for scrapple. Everything ground in a pig from the root. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Brains I'd fall out to. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I just about died when she said, oh, try this. It's scrambled eggs and brains. Oh, no, Ma, I think somebody's calling me. No, thank you. Yes, um, Martine, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, eggplant is loaded with seeds. How do you get them out? That's probably why I don't eat much of it. I, I don't. I just fry them up and eat everything. I think the seeds soften up. I've never noticed them. Or well, seeds and eggplant. You wouldn't need it anyway. No, I don't eat that. <laughs> He'd look at that and go to the restaurant. <laughs> Scrapple is made of everything left over from the animal, then mixed with cornmeal. No. Not something I would eat. Me either. Probably not. I have six bell peppers so far. Plants or peppers? I think she's in Louisiana. Um, hello, South Florida. Do you have a good canning recipe for baked beans? Uh, yes. I Actually, I do. I'm going to tell you. I got it from... Homestead Tessie, and it seems like it was just divine, but I omitted the bacon from it because that, if you're a rebel canner, and I'm not saying anything about rebel canners, you guys can do all you want, rebel canner, it is a rebel canning recipe, and it tastes divine with bacon in it, but because I'm not a rebel canner, um, I just omit the bacon and do all the rest of it, oh, it's, it's just divine, just divine. I love it. Look at her. She's like she's uh -huh. lost. She's lost, yeah. Do let's see. Um, some cheap sausage are made from all sorts of animal parts. I know. Do you make your own sausage? I go to restaurants and seem to me no one knows. Yes, we make yes, we can make our own sausage. Excuse me. And um we make our own brats. Yeah, our own sausage. We need to get we need to build a smoker because we want to do smoked sausage. But yes, we make our own sausage. I get from my local butcher, I'll get the casings for the little uh, breakfast links, and then I'll get the casings for the, the bigger brat size sausages. So yeah, we do ours. Roxanne Burke from Georgia wondering if you ever cook Greek. Most, uh, obviously, I don't because I can't pronounce it. I make Greek baklava. <laughs> My daughter lives in Georgia. She keeps telling me to send some to her. Here's a link for Renee's cookbooks. Oh, thank you, Jewel. Jules. Um, rebel on, baby. You are so cute, Carissa. Yeah. <laughs> She's my rebel, honey. <laughs> She does macaroni and cheese. She does the best cheese, and I did try it. It's good. I am just afraid to rebel can because I am afraid that I would give my family the last meal, you know, and I don't want to do that. I am not, I'm, I'm more of a scientific canner. I stick by the book because I don't, I just don't venture off because it scares me. Not to say anybody can. I would never diss a rebel canner. They quit, they quit. Um, the USDA quit testing canning recipes for us. Oh my God, I think in the 70s. Uh -huh. I think in the 70s. And, and you know, if they kept right on the testing those for us, there'd be all kinds of stuff we could probably can. I love your Aldi hauls. That's my go to. Street. Yes. Uh, one of my worst memories was a child of, was a child is of a pig's head in the tub 
my mother's kitchen. Oh my God. I asked her about she's gonna make head cheese with it. Sauce. Isn't that something? Ooh. Oh, that's so novel. You want to know what my worst is? <laughs> my stepdad was a doctor, okay, and a medical examiner. And this was back in in the 70s. And uh he used to always drag me to the hospital with them. My mom was a nurse. And I was always going to the hospital with them. Well, this you guys are going to die laughing over this, I'm telling you. I was at the hospital one day, and I went into the lab, and nosy old me, you know, I was only about, oh, maybe 13, 14 years old. And I'm walking through the lab looking at everything, and there was this pedestal that had, like, a surgical cloth over it. And I'm like, well, what is that? So I lifted up the corner, and it was a foot. With toes, black, purple, it was a foot. And I don't know what they were doing with it, but I just took off running. You know, that foot traumatized me, friends. Okay? <laughs> Doctor would have laughed. Anyway, it, was, it wasn't even a week later. And my mother's boiling this thing in this pot and all the steam coming out. And, and I come home from school and she says, hey, I got something for you to try. I see it. And I said, what is it? And she says, well, just try it. And I says, well, I want to see what it is. And she lifts the lid, and I look down in there after the after the steam cleared, and I swear to God, she brought that foot home because it looked like a foot with no toes. And then uh, I wasn't trying that. It was a cow tongue. <laughs> I swear she brought that foot home and cut the toes off. <laughs> I wasn't going to eat it. Oh, my God, I just about died. Yeah, no, I wouldn't eat it. And then she she got me after that. She uh, snuck smoked cow's tongue into a sandwich, and I ate it, and it was delightful, really. But it's the thought. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, friends, I don't know if you've, anybody's ever had a story like that, but that, that was something. <laughs> Do you have any animals? And if so, can you show them? Yeah, I got, I got chickens. I got chickens and we got two roosters, Red and Baron. And they talked to him all the time. My dad was a butcher. I'd be and I'd be a vegetarian at the age of nine because of the sights and the smells. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I wouldn't need it. No, it, it was right. It was right. I just knew she brought home that foot. Wow, you're still here. Yay for me. Oh, yeah, we're still here yakking. Would you be willing to make breakfast links on your your channel. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hi, it's Lynn Renee. Hello, Lynn. Hello from Salisbury, Salisbury, Maryland. Aw. Cut up six deers. Love it, but cold. Wow. I, I can't up venison. Does your husband miss driving truck? It's easier. It's easier than a sunny do list. Aw. I love your flash food hauls. In fact, I checked here and several stores have them to thank you for putting us on the, those flash foods. Ours aren't as good as yours, but still good deal. Yeah, I just got, we just got, um, and I know we got tons of pork in our freezer. And we can make our own sausages, but we just got brats that were um, five in a pack. It was the mild Italian sausage, uh, beer brats, and original brats for two forty-seven a pack through Flash Foods, and they were almost six dollars a pack normal. So we brought them home, and all I did with them, friends, I really should show you guys what I do with this. Sometimes you crack up laughing, probably, but it is kind of brilliant. I just take and. Instead of flash, flash freezing them on a tray, I just wrap them each link in plastic and put it right in a, in a quart bag. It fits in there perfect. It looks like a little package of hot dogs. And then you can take out however many or however few as you want. So that's what I did with all of them. Does your husband, oh, wait, we're going to ask you that. Are you afraid of that avian flu? Here it's in Michigan. No. My chickens, no, I'm not afraid of it. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd hate to lose all my chickens to it, but, um, you know, they've, they've managed to stay safe. And there's a lot of chickens in town here. There's a lot of people that got chickens. So 
and the birds, they still all feed their birds. Well, I, I guess some of them don't feed the birds anymore because the bears come around and tear up their feeders. But yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not afraid of it. I mean, granted, if it did, it'd wipe me right out, but you know, you can start over just as easy. And, um, I try to protect them from it though. Well, somebody's asking about your mom's house update. Asking about my mother was born in 1932. Tongue and sauce was what she grew up on. Yeah, there were many days I would open a pot and there was a cow tongue. And I know it looks like a foot with no toes. <laughs> How is Tracy doing? Oh, she's doing good. She's putzing all around town in her. And she's got golf a golf cart. cart. Oh, yeah, she's got a souped-up golf cart. Hello from Central Illinois. You remind me so much of my late mother and grandmother. Oh, there's Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Yes, thank you for introducing us to Flash Foods. Great to see you both for a live. This is fun. Elizabeth is the one. How are you feeling, darling? She's um, the one that sends me the boxes. We go back oh. and Elizabeth. I'm glad you're here, Elizabeth. Thank you, Nancy Summers. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Oh, thank you for the super chat. How wonderful. Tongue is good if it's cooked right. You know, when my mother, I was young too, and when she, I haven't had tongue in so long, but she had smoked tongue and it was sliced. And uh, I had it on a sandwich and it, it was good. It was just divine, really. Um, let's see. Hello from Oklahoma city. Love watching your cooking videos and seeing your garden. Oh, you guys, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to be cooking as much as we're going to be in the greenhouse and, and we'll yeah, we'll be cooking in the pizza oven though. I should say that we're not going to be cooking in the kitchen and the house as much. But we're going to be out in the greenhouse, out in the yard, and we're going to be doing a lot of food in the pizza oven. So I hope that you all still hang with me because this is the busy time of year that's coming up on that. And um, we're going to show you around the yard a lot and a lot of things we do. And I hope you all stick with us because, you know, just because I'm not in the kitchen, I still got all kinds of stuff to show you. Um. Hello, I love your channel. Thank you. We're getting a foot of snow tonight. Who's Mich Michigan? Is that Michigan Lower Peninsula? We're getting a foot of snow tonight? Where? <laughs> right here. Heck okay. yeah. I got to get some stuff done. I love you guys. Well, see you later, city girl. Give me a call. Blizzard up here in the UP of Michigan. It's a blizzard up there. Well, we don't have a stitch of snow. I'm going to turn you around and show you outside. Hang with me. I'll go real slow. Which way? We got to go this way. Can you see out there? Grass. Let me see here. There we go. See out there? Not a stitch of snow. <laughs> and it's like 30 degrees, I think. So. Maybe we're going to get, oh, Lisa Martin, thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. I, you know what I use all that for? We use that for goodies for more videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have fun. Um, oh, she says, please give this video a thumbs up and show some love. Oh, yeah. We love loves. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We're kind of small. We've been around for a while, but we're kind of small. We had no snow yesterday, now over 15 and counting. Oh, yeah, we, we might be. And even if we are, I'm still going to be in the greenhouse. Um, doing great on the left hand today. Had a run-in with one of those apple peeling, slicing, coring contraptions. <laughs> and did my right thumb. <gasps> and bled on and on. I'm such a klutz. Yes, thumbs up. Oh, my gosh, Elizabeth. How did you do that? Um, also, don't forget, Miss Renee has cookbooks. I bet everyone, and they are awesome. Aw. She bought every one of them there. You know, in my my very first cookbook, I had an oversight. And there's one, 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 I think one or two recipes or one page 
the recipe overlaps. It's like, oh, I couldn't go back and fix it. Um, the worst food I had as a child was pig's feet and tails, but my father loved it. Now, I had pickled pig's feet. Um, I never had tails from Nebraska. Hello, Nebraska. Hello, Kelly Alley in Nebraska. Hello, sweet friends. Both you love Shelby. Renee, uh, we live in Oklahoma, and my husband farms and ranches. I always enjoy your recipes. Oh, thank you. Wait till we, we've had a few people, even my, our friend in Free Soil would love to have a outdoor wood-fired oven. They're, they're awesome. You can make so much of, I, last year I made cookies in it and they turned, they didn't last long, did they? Uh -uh. I think, they, I think people smelled them because I no sooner got them cooled enough to wrap and put in a market stand, they were gone within a few hours. Oh, my aunt used to make jellied. Pig's feet and couldn't, I couldn't, jelly, pig's feet. Do you, rem, do you guys remember? I mean, we're old enough, young enough, young enough. Do you remember the gelled meat from the early 70s, 60s, late 50s? Ooh. Looked like, a, it looked like a jello mold, only it was meat and gelatin. Um, good evening from Southern Oregon. Where can I send a recipe? Okay. Um, if you go to the description box and scroll all the way down to the bottom, I believe my email and my snail mail is there. I bought it at a thrift and was trying to figure it out. Oh, gosh. And the slicer snapped back full force. Oh, my gosh. Your new freezer's full. You're just a honey. Michigan MLP, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, we might get snow. It's supposed to get, we're supposed to snow tomorrow, isn't it? Today, I thought. Oh, I don't know. Head cheese, yeah. How do you get your, how do we get your cookbooks? Again, in my, well, if you scroll back up here after, you know, after, afterward, or even now you can scroll back up. And Jules has a link to all my cookbooks. Otherwise, it's in the description box under the video. I'm going to lose my voice talking and you're just sitting there, just relax and chilling. I'm eye candy. <laughs> eye candy. He's so cute. We had a tornado warning here last evening. Oh, Phyllis, I hope everything's okay. I, I, You know what? Is We've been everywhere. And I mean, we have been everywhere, all lower 48 states, through every major city. We've been through the pickers, two tracks, everywhere, right? Never once have we encountered a tornado in all the years we were driving. Never once. No, we've had a lot of, oh, remember the hail? We were in that hurricane down in Yeah, North we were Carolina. in a hurricane in North Carolina. We were in Hurricane Matthew in North Carolina on the Outer Banks. But we weren't in a tornado. That was bad enough. Jules putting it up again. Oh, there. Jules got it up again. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi there. This is the first time I have ever gotten you live. Love to see you. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here, Joan. <laughs> that jelly stuff. Yes, I remember. Didn't care for it. And I pretty much like everything. Yeah, I don't know what it was with that. It was something grandmas would make, you know. Ooh. And they'd eat it on crackers and... I don't know. We are Tornado Alley. We usually sit on the porch and watch them. Oh, my gosh, M Meredith, that's fun. Sit on the porch. Well, I guess from a distance, wouldn't you? I'd be freaking out. You know, it's like people that live in Tornado, like you say, you, you're so used to them, you just sit on the porch and watch them go by, you know. Well, we're like that with blue lizards. You're scared. At least we know that our car is going to be in the driveway in the morning. It might be buried, but it'll still be in the driveway. It's not going to be blown to the next county. Um, on a budget, lived in North Carolina during Matthew. Awful. Yes, it was. It was bad. And we waited for what they call it, the eye of the storm. The eye of the storm to go over and everybody, them old people, we followed them old people. They ran down to the beach to get all the good shells that washed up. 
oh my God, they're fast. <laughs> we couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> we had fun though. You two are my favorite uh, honey bunnies. Aw, thank you. Hi from Dalton, Dayton, Tennessee. Love your channel. With a glass of wine. Aw. <coughs> Drink. Excuse me. Drink a glass of wine for us. I can only have alcohol free. You'd get all pizzle sprung. I want church wine. Oh, he loves the communion wine. <laughs> he says, I want the church wine. Um, we know how to read the wall clouds. It's just an oaky thing I get. Oh, yeah. How did you meet your husband? We, uh, when you'll, okay, you know what? I don't want to bore everybody, but you, no offense to you, but um, Donna, if you go back when it when it's in, in when it's in replay, I told the story of how we met. You are so blessed to never meet up with a tornado. My friend lost her dad in our neighborhood when a tornado. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Hi from Minnesota. Love watching your videos, Mr. Wayne. It cracks me up. Minnesota don't like us. <laughs> I remember our semi. Every time we went to Minnesota with our semi, it didn't matter, friends, if it was an old rust bucket or a brand new truck, we would break down in Minnesota. I remember that one time? We broke down. It was like four degrees below zero, and uh, we, we couldn't start it. It wouldn't start. So we had to wait for the cab. We called the cab, and, you know, we called the um, – the dispatcher and that, and they got us set up in a hotel. But we're waiting for the cab to come, and, and we're just, and we're hovered together, and we're just, uh, you know, just a shaking. And he says, can't, can't you have one of those hot flashes anyway? And I'm like, no, it don't work that way. <laughs> I said, no, but when we go down to Laredo, you can bet uh, I'll have a hot flash because our, our air conditioner will go out. Well, that's what happened. I jinxed us. We broke down in Minnesota. We didn't have no heat. And then our air conditioning, remember, it went out. We were in Laredo, Texas, and it went out. And remember, I was going to go swimming in the pool. It was so hot down there. Oh, my God, was it hot down there. And I thought, well, I'll go swimming in the pool. Well, I couldn't swim in the pool because some lady was screaming, Vivida, Vivida, Vivida or Vivido, a snake. I guess it's Spanish for snake. I almost had a heart attack. I ran, <laughs> I ran back into the hotel and slammed the door. It, we had to, oh my gosh, it was miserable down there. Oh my gosh, was it hot, miserable. We're not used to that. We got too thick a skin for that. I drove semi in Atlanta when a tornado picked up the back of my trailer and set me back down. I stopped the truck and just cried. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think I would have went home. That would have scared the bejesus right out of me. Oh, we had to rebuild from April 2020 tornado. I'm in Dixie Alley, Louisiana. I'm so sorry. Miss Lippy. I know you. You were on there last time. I'm sorry, honey, but did you, I hope everything turned out okay. <clears throat> Good insurance. It's important to have good insurance. I am from North Dakota. I grew up on a farm with eight brothers and sisters. I remember my mom baking bread rolls, etc. Aw, and you remind me of her. That sweet. Mm -hmm. Too funny, John. <laughs> I hate snakes too. Yes, I don't like snakes. Not at all. You look tired. Mm -hmm. You want to sip on burners? No, I'm going to go get another Pepsi. You don't, oh, Pepsi. <laughs> um, Michigan loves burners. And Fago, it's our pop. Whenever anybody in my family is sick, 